Hello. So in the previous videos, we created an API management instance, and then we secured it externally with an application gateway. So now we need to configure monitoring and logging. Now, if you uh, if you did not see the other videos and you uh, want to watch how to build the API instance, I'll leave the uh, links in the, in the description below. But what is Application Insights? Basically, this is the service we're going to be using to collect all the logs. It helps you collect telemetry data so you can monitor performance, availability, and diagnose any issues. It provides querying the logs for debugging, end-to-end -end request response tracing, real-time reports, and the beauty is you can enable it on the global level to all your APIs or just on the API level. So let's get to our Azure portal and take a look on how can we can we create the Azure application application insight. So the first thing we want to make sure is we you have already an API management instance because if you don't this is not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new resource. I already have an API management and I need to configure the login for it. So I'm going to create on new resource and I'm going to say application insights and I'm going to hit create this is your subscription if you already have a resource group that you need you want to save this in, you can I'm going to create no one and just say app insight You can name it according to your business naming convention. I'm going to name it API App Insight. Now make sure this is in the same region as your API instant. And it's East US. Resource mode always uh, uh, go with the workspace based the classic is deprecated or deprecating. This is your subscription. And this is the workspace. So simply go to tags. If you want to create tags and then review and create. And uh, once the validation pass, click create. And I'm going to pause this video and come back when it's done. All right, now that our deployment is complete, we will go to our API management instance. And here's mine. Let's scroll down until we see application insights. We click on it. And we're going to add. So in a drop down, as you can see, we see now the one we just created. If you have multiple, uh, choose the one you just created for this purpose and just uh, type a description. I'll say this is my API logger. So here it's telling you use as default and enable basic logging for all APIs. Uh, you can keep it or if you're planning to do it only by API, you can uh, uncheck this. I'll show you how to configure it per API anyway, once we add this. So I'm gonna create, and it's creating the no logger for this API instance, and I'm gonna pause and come back when it's done. So now if we go to our APIs, I have a couple of APIs, the default that comes with the API management instance when you create it. And I added this demo conference API, which is supplied by Microsoft. So if we look at all APIs and go to settings, because we check, we left that box checked, it's enabled. The login, the application insights is enabled. And the destination, as you can see, this is my application insight. Now, if you want to do it per API, you would uncheck this and go to the API itself. I'm just going to discard it and leave it on, on, the, uh, on all APIs. But how, 
here's how you do it. You uncheck that one, you scroll down, and here's application inside. You check it, and then the destination is our our uh, API app inside, which is which is what we created. Now let's go back to the uh, all APIs configurations and take a look at the settings. All right, so the sampling here by default is set to 100%, but you should not really leave it at 100%, because login 100% mean means you're logging all events, and logging all events may have serious performance implications depending on the incoming request rate. So this would have, if you leave it at 100%, it would have uh, basically 40 to 50% reduction in throughput when request rates exceeds a thousand requests per second. It depends on how, how much, uh, you know, how, how many requests you're getting really, if, if you're, it depends. So the application insights is designed to assess application performance using statistical analysis. It is not intended to be an audit system um, and it's suited for logging each individual request for high volume API. So you would wanna lower this to let's say 30%. So we start with 30% and we go from there. Make sure you're always logging errors because that's what we really need. You can leave the rest as is and you can click save. And that's gonna apply to all APIs now. All right, so using Postman for APIs, the testing app, I came and I started uh, sending uh, tests. Some of them are okay. Some of them I bypassed the subscription to create some errors and some of them are actually not errors. I'm gonna now bypass, I'm gonna here, I bypass subscription. I'm gonna go ahead and say, we need to provide subscription so I can create some uh, errors. So now, as you can see, I uh, made it mandatory to have the subscription. So running the uh, the APIs now would basically fail. And that's what we want. We want to have some logs. So now that I created a few, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause the video and create more, a little bit more, so we can have uh, some logs to take a look at. All right, now that we created some successful and some uh, failed attempts to contact the API with the postman, let's go ahead and take a look at Application Insight. So we scroll down, we go to Application Insights, we click on it, and as you can see, we have a lot of things to look at. For example, failure. We have 13 failures. It just gives you a graph. If we want to check availability of the API management, the best thing is the transaction search. So you can actually search by term or ID. In my case, I'm just going to go ahead and display all the data. It shouldn't be a lot. So as you can see here, I have a lot of them. So if I clicked on this one, for example, so it's telling me it's giving me all the it's all, it's giving me all the uh, information that I need, and it's telling me here connection attempt failed because the connected party did not properly respond. So it gives you gives you the error and what's going on. Let's just take a look at another one. Same error, let's find another one with a different error, maybe this yellow one. This one here, as you can see, it's 200 okay. Let's find this one that failed. So as, as I told you, I, uh, I uh, said, I said, and I configured it to actually, uh, I have to have, to, to fail if the subscription key is not provided. And I tried to connect and it failed. And here it is, it's telling me subscription key not found. So this, this basically is a full log that if a customer tells you my APIs are not running, you would come here and basically go through the logs and it tells you what's going on. And you should just, you should simply tell the customer, well, you did not provide the subscription, subscription key and so on and so forth. This is the performance tab here. You can take a look at your performance of, uh, of your APIs. 
that's it. Basically, uh, this is, a, you know, you can go through the, those tabs. The most important one is the transaction search because you really can, can search by, by, you know, what you're looking for. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave me comments in the uh, comment section. If you need help with Postman and uh, you want me to create a, a little video, a small video that explains how to use it, please leave me a, a comment. Well, please support this channel by liking, subscribing, and, and sharing. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.